I'm Jessie Savo with Blue Barrel Rainwater Catchment Systems, BlueBarrelSystems.com. Today I'm going to highlight irrigation timers just for no pressure gravity fed applications. So before I dive in, I just want to note that it's really important if you're doing a gravity fed system like rain barrels or other, um, you're going to want a timer that's specifically for no pressure systems. If you buy a standard irrigation timer in a hardware store, um, you'll hook it up, you may think it's working, but then don't be surprised if your rain tanks are drained the next morning. Um, those, most timers actually require water pressure to stay closed properly, so that's the issue um, that a lot of people run into. So um, they're hard to come by, but there are a couple models on the market of zero pressure timers, and I'm gonna talk a little bit about a couple of them that, that we've used. Um, this one is one we sold for a long time. It has a solar panel on it. It's marketed just for rain barrels. Um, there is an issue I want to point out in case anyone's um, finding an issue with these. The how long and how often labels are actually flip-flops. That was an error in their last production run. Um, the manufacturer hasn't offered a resolution, so we've discontinued these while they figure that out. Um, if the timers still work though. If you have one of these and you're finding it confusing, you can just ignore those labels or cross them out with a Sharpie. Um, meanwhile, we did some research and we found another product that we find is very reliable. It's about $15 less expensive. This one operates with regular AA batteries. Um, the trick to both of these is that um, because they're battery operated, the, the, um, the mechanism is all, it's all mechanical and it's going to open and close fully whether you have water pressure or not. So um, I'm just going to go over how to get up and running with one of these timers. Um, they have really simple dials where you can set the runtime and the and the frequency. Um, runtime you can have it run for as little as one minute and as much as 120 minutes, which is two hours at a time. Um, and then the frequency will will let you set how often you want that uh, that runtime to cycle. So you can have it come on every hour or as seldom as every week. Um, I like to set mine usually for. Um, well, at this time of year, probably 30 minutes twice a day, which would be every 12 hours. Um, so quickly, while we're zoomed in here, um, you actually do have the control here to simply turn it on and off. So you can control it manually. And I'm gonna turn it on just so you can see what that mechanism looks like opening and closing. So if you zoom in, and I'm not sure if you could hear that motor running, but the motor opened up the valve and now you can see that that valve is open. So I'll close that again. And now I'm gonna program this to install. So it's very simple. Again, I want it to come on every, uh, sorry, for 30 minutes at a time, every 12 hours. Um, and then it has this really neat delay start feature. So right now it's about noon. Um, for the most water efficient irrigation, you wanna be irrigating either early in the morning or in the evening after the sun goes down. Um, since I said it to come on every 12 hours, we're gonna do a little of both, but I don't want it to be watering at 12 o'clock. Um, Six o'clock would be much better. So if you zoom in again here, how, here's how I'm gonna program that. I'm gonna push delay start. Oops, and I'm gonna hold it down until this indicator light comes on. And that indicator light will also tell me when I have low batteries, but while I'm programming it, it's linked to the delay start. Now I'm gonna, each time I push this, it's gonna turn green. One, two, three, four, five, six. So I've now set it to delay for six hours um, and I'm just not gonna do anything in a, about 30 seconds here, the indicator light will stop flashing and that's when I know it's fully programmed. So um, let's walk over and we'll actually, um, we will put this onto our rainwater system. So I won't go into detail about the rain barrels. We have lots of other videos highlighting that. Um, but we do a few really important components. Um, water will come out of this valve. Um, you definitely want to use a filter. We have a very inexpensive filter on our website, about $10. That's a fine mesh filter. Um, and I'll just show you, so I can turn it on and water comes out. That's all gravity, no pressure. Um, but I wanna cap this so that water will come out this way. And that's gonna come through my timer. So. Um, the timer is going to just screw on. It has a regular swivel. Um, and I prepped this with a little bit of Teflon tape. Okay, we want to get it on nice and tight there. It's nice to have it on a swivel because I don't have to rotate the whole unit. I can just, I can just 
twist this little black part there. And then same here, my drip irrigation line. And again, at BlueBarrelSystems.com, we sell all of the um, specialty drip irrigation kits in addition to the timers. But once I have that all tight, the last thing I want to do, it's important not to forget, once it's all hooked up, I want to open the valve. And as long as the timer is closed, the water will stop there. But when the timer opens, it's going to send water through my system. So again, just to let you see it in action, I'm going to turn it on because I have the control to turn it on and off manually. Um, and you can hear the, the motor opening. And then we'll walk over to the garden and we'll watch that water coming out the emitters. And you can already see... Let's zoom in. I can hear it. It's fun to listen to that water coming through. There we go. We, uh, sorry, I'm casting a shadow, but there's a nice, there's a nice drip right there. We've got one in the background here. Um, every nine inches along this line, we have an emitter, and it's a really efficient way to water. Gravity is doing all the work, and it's putting water right at the root zones. Um, if you plan it out, you can zoom out. See, I have rows. Um, and you can actually plant a start at every emitter um, so that you can be sure to get the most efficient watery, water delivery possible. So anyway, like I said, we have a lot more information at BlueBarrelSystems.com. You can contact us. We're happy to help. Um, we are your resource for gravity-fed irrigation and rain barrels in general. Thanks for joining us.